Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be talking about whether you should grind for the Revenant armor or just not do that at all. So, I've been grinding for the zombies quite a lot recently and I decided to make a video just talking about whether it was worth it or not. A little while ago I made a video talking about what the best Slayer boss is to grind and I ended up saying that unless you specifically wanted the zombie stuff, you should go for Wolf. And in most cases that is still true. However, a day or two after I made that video, um, the Sven boss was buffed or nerfed, depends on how you look at it, so, so that you could basically just not kill it anymore. And like the method that everyone used before just didn't work anymore. The one where you would like stand in the corner above everything and sort of just hit it from there. That didn't that wouldn't work anymore. And it looked like there was basically no way to solo the tier four bosses anymore. So I just gave up on. Um, on doing wolf, and I decided to go for zombies. So the first thing I was doing is I was going to go for the revenant minion for minion slots, but I sort of just got stuck to it, and I ended up just sticking to zombies. So I'm currently at zombie level five, and I need like six thousand more XP to get to zombie level six. Um, and I ended up just crafting the revenant armor and grinding that as well. So wolves are now easier to grind. You can grind them again. However. Like, there is a specific method that you can use, I think Tabor made a video about it, where you sit in the water in that little pond over there, and you can like, cheese it from there and it will sort of just work. I'm gonna link that video in the description if you're interested, but, that method, like, it works, but I just sort of, since I was so far into zombies, I decided to just stick to zombies, and see how it goes. So, I haven't, I've been running it quite a lot now, I've killed probably like, 50 tier 3s, and I recently found out how easy it is to kill tier 4s, so I've been doing that instead. I'm going to make a video soon, probably in like 2 days, talking about the easiest way to kill the tier 4 spam bosses. Honestly, you don't need anything good to kill them. But that's for another video. What I'm going to be saying now is whether the Revenant armor is worth it or not. So the short answer is... Yes. Unless you are sure you're never going to want to kill zombies ever for some reason, Revenant armor is definitely something you should look into grinding. It's really not that hard to get. You only need tier 5 um, zombies here to get the chest plate and tier 4 for the leggings and the boots. And it's going to cost around like 3 million coins, maybe even a bit less in terms of materials if you buy it from the adventurer. The most expensive part of that all is getting the zombie chest plates, which you will need. Um, so for that you need like 4 zombie hearts. But it's definitely worth it. Because the zombie chest plate isn't, again, it's not that expensive to get. You can just buy the stuff from the auction house, but I recommend saving like 2 to 3 million coins and just buying it from the adventurer, it doesn't even take that long. And, now initially I just made it because I thought why not, but I, have, I didn't realise how overpowered this set actually is. So, it's kind of trash when you're not killing zombies, so you can see I only have a thousand, I only have 387 defence. I do have a good amount of health, I've got 1,350 health, but considering how low the defense is, not, it's not really not that good. So the set is still like, it's it's good enough for most things, but if you're gonna like, you, you really shouldn't try to solo the other bosses with this armor. However, when it comes to zombies, this armor is extremely, extremely overpowered. It's better than superior armor, it's the best armor in the game right now when it comes to killing zombies. So, there is this ability called Bulwark, Bulwark or something like that, and it gives you extra defense against zombies depending on how many, um, how many zombies you've killed. So I haven't grinded that, grinded it that much, I've grinded like 8600 now. I've been using a method from my video by MonsterYT, I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description. You basically just place some minions into like a box, and you sit there and spam the, um, the AO to the ability. And then you basically just hit kills pretty quickly. So, um, the next one is at 10,000. After that, it starts to get difficult. I think from 10,000, it's then 25,000, then 50,000, then 100,000 kills. So, I'm probably not going to go for that specifically. However, it already is extremely overpowered. So, right now, my defense is 387. And the moment I let a zombie hit me, my defense is going to go all the way to... 1087 defense is extremely, extremely, extremely good. So this is like perfect armor level of defense, and at the same time you have extreme high amounts of health. And this again, like this also does apply to the to the to the bosses. 
So it's not just the normal zombies, it's also for every single mob that resembles a zombie. Now I'm pretty sure that the Dungeons update is also going to have a lot of zombies. So this is also going to be extremely good for that. Because having armor that is already the best for zombies is going to make you be really ready. And once the Dungeons update does come out in probably like one to two months, you're going to be there with the best armor and everyone in Superior is going to be wondering why the armor sucks. So it's definitely a good way to prepare for that. So with this armor, it's really easy to kill the tier 4 bosses. I'm going to make a video again in like one or two days describing more in detail. But I'm going to put a clip up here of like how little damage you take. So with this armor, you basically just completely tank damage from the bosses. Even the tier 4, it does literally zero damage to you. So as you can see here, I'm just, it's just taking absolutely no damage. So get this armor and just grind it out until you have like 10,000 kills. Even if you don't really want to go for zombies, it's just really good to have. In terms of like comparing this to the Massive armor, Massive armor is also really good and it probably is better for most things, but Massive armor is a lot harder to get. And it's just, it's not as good for zombies. Now, I still do recommend going for wolves, especially if you use the um, the method that Tavo showed. Because getting the Mana Flux or Power Orb is pretty overpowered. And once I get the Reaper Fire Kill, which is the thing I'm grinding for next, um, I'm probably going to help over to wolves and try to get the Mana Flux Power Orb. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to be away from Monday to Friday. So I won't be able to make videos or anything, but I'm going to pre-record one or two videos. I also have a pretty good video idea for the like the day after I come back, and that's going to be pretty interesting. I have a lot of e I'm putting a lot of effort into that video, or I'll try to. So if you don't want to miss that video, subscribe as well. Um, I'm also going to be giving away an aspect of the dragons pretty soon, probably after I come back, so like five or six days. But I'm going to be giving that away, so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. And yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.